Hey, Doom Guy here. So I'll jump on for a stage three lap it up. Sea tide sprint. <clears throat> 21.8Ks. 177 meters climb. I was going to do a bit of a later ride, but I'll we'll get it out of the way now. <laughs> Don't really want to go too hard today with the uh, ZRL PTT finals tomorrow, so I'll leave a bit in the tank for that. <laughs> We're not going to be going crazy on this one. <laughs> Hey guys, today Arctic, moderate cyclist, hey mate, Barky, good ride the other day mate, have you done this one yet, the seaside, uh, seaside sprint, lap it up, stage three, I don't know if I can take it easy. I should really take it easy for this race, but you know how it is. You can get a bit carried away in races. No doubt I will get carried away. There was a pretty well ranked Cat B race on here that I thought about doing, but thought maybe one evening I'll just take it easy after dinner. So I'll get it out of the way now. active recovery on here, can't we? So yeah, I've got the same thing going on about uh, NRL tomorrow. Probably shouldn't do this. But yeah, we'll I don't know, try and convince myself that this is active recovery. So, what sort of zone are we looking at for active recovery? Are we, are we aiming for zone 2 or 3? There's no chance I'm going to be sat in zone 2 in this, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, I reckon. Moderate cycle, so I reckon you're right there. FTP is meant to be over an hour, isn't it? So 20 minutes won't do any harm. Zone one. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. At least this shouldn't take longer than 30 or 40 minutes, right? I've got a bit of time to recover. I've got a whole 24 hours to recover. Once again, I was too busy talking and paying attention. The other question I've got is, how important is sleeping in recovery? Might be a bit of a silly question though. I suppose it's quite important. Oh man, Arctic slip, slipped in. You kept that quiet, Arctic.
motor cyclist, that's like recovery time, right? So if you smash it, hit up to zone 5, start feeling a bit uh, sick. But you want to try and get down to zone 1 before you're sick, is that right? Can't be fun uh, spewing in the higher zones. That's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm gathering from your comment there. Pro tips. I hope they're not going to push it. Try and be as uh, efficient as possible. But I get a little bit nervous when I'm so far back on a, a pack like this. You never know, Arctic might uh, put the hammer down and put me in trouble. Too much of a gap, I don't like this. Yeah, that guy is dropping. Yeah, glad I, glad I moved up then. Although they might get back on. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? It's a bit of a problem when you uh, announce your strategy. I guess the wild card really is whether I can hold back from uh, trying to compete. I don't think I will be able to compete. Uh, I don't think I will be able to hold back. It's a nice little gap up front. Pretty hard to keep a gap going downhill though against the pack. Randomness. I don't think I've uh, been random enough lately, though. I've been feeling lately on these lap it up crack circuit track slash circuits that if you leave your sprint till 300 meters the race is over I really can't remember this one is this the one where we go past the crab shack and the finish is over a bridge and then there's a blue house on the left 
Yeah, I really can't remember this finish. Beast mode, Benno. Or Beno, Benno. I assume it's Benno. Oh, he loves doing a beast mode, doesn't he? I just moved up to Cat B. And joined a race with Benno and I think a couple of the Aero Boys. And he just, yeah, 11 watts a kilogram or more out of the, out of the starting pen. Put 10 seconds on it straight away. And pretty much held 20 seconds on the pack for the whole race. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Arctic, thanks, mate. So... Yeah, it was... I can't remember. Did we go through the village? Man, I can't remember. It's been one of those days. this little push here. Let's go Arctic, let's get on. Good job, buddy. I was on the wrong side of that split. Yes, it really opened up. Three seconds. I think we want to push a little bit here, though. Keep that. That break. I'll do a little bit of an effort here. Try and get it up to ten seconds. Seven seconds. I'm right, gonna ease off. Let someone else have a little go. Job hard, actually. Keep an eye on this gap now.
Right, downhill finish then. I know the one you're talking about now, Arctic. Nice bit of gravity for Doom Guy. What's so hard to come by in, eh? For me? I'm too busy trying to hang on. So when it comes to respond or sprint, I really struggle. I think the next phase of my training might be more about weight loss than anything else. Probably can lose another three or four kilograms. Maybe five if I'm really strict. Yeah, I can settle into that. New competition. Try not to get the wooden spoon. I think, yeah, in Cat A, it's just seeing how much better you can do each ride. You are up against the best, aren't you? Especially when you've got black A's in there. I could probably do 4.0 for 20 minutes. But I can't imagine doing five watts a kilogram as an FTP. Absolutely amazing, those guys are guns. So there's a competition for you, moderate. Who can come middle of the pack? That's your goal. Oh, it could be my goal as well, obviously. I don't mean your goal, but yeah. Being moderate, so. Right in the middle there. Look at this guy pushing it. He wanted to spice things up. finish up here. One of the hardest finishes I reckon.
Good job, Chamberlain. Dude, you forget I'm meant to be doing zone one or zone two active recovery here. Probably a good place to attack because everyone's tired from that little uh, lead up to the banner. Yeah, sorry, it's going to be boring, isn't it? I think uh, the place where you said to attack, probably the absolutely perfect place for a breakaway. But a long attack like that's a bit beyond my abilities. The Arctic, uh, Arctic Swifter riding over there. He's attacking. He listened to you. Well, I'm not going to chase. You don't chase a teammate, do you? <clears throat> I'm definitely not chasing Arctic. Keep going, mate. All bets are off with this Benno. Arctic, what happened? I'm worried what's happened to Arctic there. Maybe chains come off or something. I oh know, he's still there, still got power, that's good. What are you testing, mate? Testing to see if anyone would chase. I was worried that you'd uh, dropped off, mate.
Ah, uh, nice one, Arctic. <laughs> Your legs were looking good to me, mate. Daydreaming again. Chicken here. Cop going on. Must have been a bit of the dust. I had a drink of water and it went down the wrong way. I didn't really want to bear that for this finish. I much prefer a uh, draft band.
Let's go Arctic, let's do it mate. Not yet, too early. Don't drop too far back though. Yeah, looking good. Going radio silence for the last bit, mate. Oh, thanks guys, well done Arctic. Good job mate. Well oh, it looks like pretty close there. Oberg on your tail. I think I saw Arctic uh, riding wide over the over the bridge. I guess you're coming out of draft and stopping people drafting you, is that right? Swifty, you never know, mate. Might be a one-two. You never know on Swift uh, Power, do you? <laughs> Alright, so that was the recovery ride. Active recovery.
I didn't see him, mate. I wasn't keeping an eye on his power. Did it fluctuate up there, did it? Oh, he did a pretty good uh, breakaway. <laughs> it seemed like he did ease off a little bit on the downhill there. All oh, right, yeah. I better say thank you to Chamberlain. He uh, he did a nice bit of uh, pacing there for the front group. Arctic, I thought you were going to go long, mate. The lap before that one, that last one. That's a nice little break you had. And then you, uh, then I was worried that your chain had fallen off or something because you slowed right down and you said you were testing your legs. Maybe you were testing them to see if you could still feel them or see if they were still there. Full of lactic acid, probably. Yeah, I thought you were going to keep on rolling, mate. Which worked out well for me, because I just sat in waiting for someone else to try and respond. Probably could have super tapped, but I don't. I was a bit worried about that other person, that other rider, since they had broken away, and I always assume that they're a lot stronger than me. So I just keep going. <laughs> Arctic, well, you definitely channeled channeled into that dimension for a little while. Oh, that was really exciting. <clears throat> maybe, uh, maybe next time we're in a team, like, we've got a few Kaboomers in here. Maybe like the first lap we send someone up the road, other two just sit in. Let the pack work to catch them. And once they catch them, send the next person up whilst the first person rests. That might be fun to try and see what happens. Yeah, Zwifty, maybe I'll maybe I'll try that next time. I always like to try and get as much speed up as I can down that hill. And normally I like to have a draft fan for that finish as well. <clears throat> have you done this race yet, Swifty? Or are you waiting for a bit more of a prime time race? So Zwifty, are you talking about through the S's then? I'm having, I've just ridden it, but I'm having trouble visualising it.
So you come out of the volcano area, you go towards, you go over a bridge. Left will take you to the village. I think we go right, don't we? Which takes you to the S's. So you're talking about from the from a bit over the bridge, it just turns right, starting from there. Yeah, with Seaside, we don't go past the the beachfront there, the famous uh, Wahoo beachfront. Or, not, or is it the beachfront or the village? Yeah, no, we take it right to the S's. So you can probably ramp it up through the S's. Moderate cyclist called out a good place to attack, and that's after this awful. I think I'm on it now. Let me just bring it. Let me show you. So you're coming up through here. Once you get through the banner, everyone's normally a little bit wasted because it's really draggy, isn't it? It's probably one of the hardest finishes coming through here. <clears throat> and then. Uh, Moderate cyclist was telling me to attack when we came past the banner up that next little kicker before it goes flat and downhill a bit. Which will probably work really well if you've got the legs for it. We're getting some good numbers in these 150. Four the other night. So it'll be great fun to sort of line up a time where we all go for it. What time is it in England now? It's like 5.50 p.m. here in Australia. <clears throat> yeah, like how well, it would be a breakaway, wouldn't it, really? Maybe even a first lap breakaway, or we did a beast mode Benno, which is from the start line. But we'll definitely have to have a big crew all on board with that. Is six enough to sort of rotate through and get a decent rest? A50. So I guess A50 AM. So I guess most people, a lot of people, will be at work or going to work. Yeah, it's awkward to line up the times from here in Australia with you guys. Time is prime time for you there. What lines up for US and European prime time? Because the zone two tiny race time, I think it's pretty much 2 a.m. in the morning for me. So if we get six together outside of prime time, it could be a bit of fun. guys well I'm gonna head off gotta go feed the kids thanks for jumping on thanks for the chat Arctic really good riding mate it was uh, 
It was a nice surprise you jumping on. Moderate cyclist, thanks for hanging in there and chatting as well and uh, having a bit of a banter, having a bit of a chat about possible options. So I'll catch you all later. Have a have a great day and have a great ride today if you're riding. See ya. Bye.